What, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Can I see your collar? I don't want to hurt, you know. I'm trying to figure out what his name is. Uh, Callie. Callie, you're a female. I wonder why you like, it, like us, we're males. Cute kitty. Welcome to Creepy Places in New England. Happy Hollow Burial Grounds with my friend, Callie. Um, this is our newest adventure. We're gonna, I'm trying to do a little bit more places outside of Rhode Island because, well, I keep, can't, keep calling it creepy places in New England and we're never outside. So we're in this actually very upper class neighborhood with my cat friend who has nothing but do but bothered us. And um, it's, it's uh, you, the way to find this place is through this. There's a little plaque right here. And it, it actually sort of like tells you with a pathway to go to the Happy Hollow grounds. Over here, Steve, that's the pathway. So enjoy this next video. Welcome to Happy Hollow Burial Ground. We are actually inside. It's actually not that far in the woods. Actually, if you look around, you see a guy uh, building a house over there. There's houses over there, houses over there. So it's not that isolated. So all you vandals, they do watch the cemetery, and if they mess it, you mess it up, they will shoot and kill you, and I hope they do. And then you get buried for all the people who vandalize cemeteries, will dig you up and piss on your bodies. All right, I just get a little ticked off over vandals. Okay, Happy Hollow um, is like an 18th, 19th century um, graveyard, well, cemetery, burial ground, whatever. And most of the people who were buried here are from an area once known as West Manfield Village. Um, that's all there is about it, but a lot of people have said it's pretty haunted here, okay? Um, you get a warm sensation when you enter, and okay, me and Steve did feel a warm sensation, but okay, look, huge clearing, okay, huge clearing, and the sun's out, so that could be the reason why we felt a huge, nice, warm sensation. Um... You hear strange noises, but I don't think we're going to be getting that at all because, well, we got a guy who's working at a treehouse, so we're going to hear that all the time. And um, a sense of being watched and feeling unwanted. Steve, do you feel like you're being watched and feeling unwanted? Being watched, definitely. Yeah, me definitely. too, I agree. Especially because we were greeted also by the cat when we came in here. Yeah, we got some pussy who liked us. Oh, your phone's ringing. And uh, wanted, I we're pretty wanted here. That's not a strange nose, that's a phone, right? Yeah. Yeah, but look, little angel of death. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Well, it's Massachusetts, and, you know, Massachusetts has quite the Puritan thing. So, yes, we've gotten the feeling... Would you shut the fucking phone off? <laughs> we got the feeling of being watched, but not feel like we're being unwanted. Actually, you feel kind of welcomed here on set. And there has been reports of a black figure floating across the woods. I'm assuming that one, because that one's a little bit more isolated. And uh, an apparition of a man in hat. I do know of a case where someone actually took a picture and they actually got the picture of the man in with the hat. And it would be interesting to know this did not happen at night. It's a daytime picture. Despite what people think, you can get paranormal experiences and pictures during the daytime. So Steve, this has a very cool, interesting, um, his name is Mr. Joel Shaw. Shaw. Died, uh, died 1840. So why don't you read what it says on the bottom? Okay, it's like, it's like a message to the people reading it. It says, Farewell, my friends, my days are over. With you on earth to meet no more. Cease to weep or shed or tear. Surviving wife of Charlotte, dear. That's sweet. Here in Happy Hollow Burial Ground, you can find all types of treasures. Look what I found. And guess what? It's still filled with... Green gold, baby. We're smoking it up. Now, this is the woods where some people have seen a floating black figure just floating in the woods right here. This is the, I'm assuming this is the spot because this is the only spot where you don't see any houses nearby because all the rest around, there are houses. So, like I said, me and Steve are feel like we're being watched, but not unwanted. And we haven't really heard any strange noises either. Just to give you a general idea of how old the cemetery is, like, this one's 1837, but then there's one over here, which has unfortunately been broken, I'm assuming, by vandals. Uh, eight, 1784, John Skinner, poor guy, or gravesman, vandalized. So, it's just, this is just to give, ooh, look at dragonfly, 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 can you see it? Nope, it went away. 
Just to give you a general overview on how old this cemetery is. Hey, Charles. Yes, Steve? You know what this is? Yes, I do, but why don't you tell us? Okay. It's actually, it's a plant that's on the list of endangered species. It's a native to this area, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and it's called a lady slipper. Why is it called a lady slipper? Well, take a look. It looks like a lady slipper. Okay, we're going to leave it alone now. Bye. Bye, kitty.